Hello friends, yay, welcome back to Strathmore's 2021 online workshop series. This is Shelly, also known as Letters by Shells, and I just wanted to say thank you again for being here and painting with me these past few weeks. It's been so much fun. For this final lesson, we will be creating a super fun weekly journal spread using the same techniques from the previous lessons. I will also share my journaling process when creating a to-do list and weekly spread from start to finish. So for this lesson, I will be using the following supplies. The Strathmore 500 series heavyweight mixed media pad in the size 9 by 12 inches. I'll also be using a ruler, the Lyra Aqua brush duo pen, a cup of water, the Dalaroni Aqua Fine watercolor tube paints. This is the one that I already prepped from lesson two. Additional items would be a pencil, an eraser, and some painter's tape. And lastly, the Princeton Velvet Touch brushes, the wash size, that's 3 by 4 inches, and then the flat shader size 6, and lastly, the round size 8. For the journal spreads, I'm going to tape down the edges using painter's tape, and this will create a nice border for the spreads. And for the first journal spread, I'm going to use the exact same techniques from lesson one and paint simple loose leaves along the edges. So first paint a couple of them on the left hand side. And I'm also going to have some of the leaves overlap as well. So this is really good if you paint a first set of leaves first, let them dry and then paint over them and it'll create a nice layering of the leaves. And in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to use the same techniques from lesson two and paint a loose floral. And afterwards, add a couple of loose leaves to finish off the floral. And we're going to take a step back and see if I can fill in the page with a couple more loose leaves. I'm going to add some in the upper right hand corner. And just add a couple of them on the edges. And I'm also going to create this contrast of leaves by painting some leaves that have a lot more pigment in them. And after the illustrations have fully dried, I'm going to now remove the tape and you'll see that it created this nice border around.
Afterwards, using a pencil, I'm going to sketch out the first journal spread and I'm gonna hand letter May 2021. And feel free to also reference the practice sheet for additional guidance. And then using a ruler, I'm going to create a total of three boxes and I'm going to try to make them centered on the paper. And feel free to resize some of the boxes if you feel that you want some of them bigger or smaller. And then I'll be using the Lyra Aqua Brush Duo Pen to trace over everything that I sketched out. And just remember for brush lettering, always apply heavy pressure for your downstrokes and light pressure for your upstrokes. And then using the bullet tip side pen, I'm going to now outline the boxes. And for the first box, I'm just gonna write the word to-do list. And then for the second box, I'm going to hand letter the word goals. And then the last box, I'm just gonna write notes. And I just love creating these to-do list spreads because I feel that it can help me stay organized for the week. After using the brush pen, I'll let it sit for maybe about 10 minutes before I start erasing everything. And that way I can just erase the pencil sketches. This next step is totally optional, but because we created that nice border using the painter's tape, I'm just going to cut down this weekly journal spread so that way I can easily put it in my notebooks and my folders. Yay, and there you have it for this weekly spread. For the next journal spread, I thought it'd be really fun to make a colorful abstract illustration. So I'm gonna be using a mixture of the brushes. The first one I'm gonna be using is a wash brush and just creating these fun curvy lines in the bottom left hand corner. And just overlapping them by two different colors. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint a couple more strokes just along the edges of this paper. and then painting a couple of upside down U shapes. And feel free to use different colors throughout this piece, just have fun with it.
You also take a step back and see what other illustrations and washes that you want to paint. Afterwards, I am using the flat shader brush to create smaller brush strokes throughout the page. I'm going to also add some dashes and dots. And then adding a couple more brush strokes and upside down U shapes. After the brush strokes have dried, I'm going to now remove the painter's tape. And then using my pencil, I'm going to sketch out the words to-do list and make a total of four boxes. And of course, feel free to reference the practice sheet guide for additional guidance. A quick tip for the boxes, I just went ahead and made one large box and then sketched individual boxes inside of it. And then using my brush pen, I'm just going to hand letter and trace over the sketches that I did. And inside the boxes, I just decided to write Monday through Thursday just to help me stay organized for the week.
Yay, and that's it for this lesson. Thank you so much for being a part of Strathmore's 2021 online workshop series and painting with me these past few weeks. It's been super fun. Just a quick recap. In this series, we painted simple loose leaves, a floral wreath, fruits and veggies, and a journal spread. Feel free to rewatch the past lessons and always remember to have fun and keep painting. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.